In this session, we will see the overview of REST primary data types from the standard library. For that, I will open standard library from local resource by the command rustup doc dash dash std. It will open Rust's standard library in the browser and here the primary data types documentation links is shown. Let us go into this. As we learned from the previous videos, all primary types are listed here. Array, bool, char, f32, f64 and so on. Let us see them one by one as outline in a single video. First array. An array is a fixed size and same data type and denoted with element type T and size N. All arrays implementations are listed here. Traits like copy, clone, debug are also listed here. We will learn about traits in our future videos. See, this is muted array with i32 data type and three elements. And we can access each elements individually. And an assert eq macro. We will see this in Rust Playground. I will set config as editor Monaco. It is the base editor for VS Code and the theme VS Code Dark Plus. If only I set like this means, suppose I press Ctrl S, then it will automatically runs. No need to press the run button. Ok, here the print statement in for loop prints 0, 1, 2. And now I try to print array as slice from first element. See array slice printed from first element is 1 comma 2. And now let us come to the point assert eq macro. It has two forms. First is having only two parameters. Here two parameter variant is used. And the next is two parameters with panic message. Assert eq macro is used to check the first two parameters are equal. If it is equal means then it does nothing. If it is not equal means assert panics. The third parameter for assert macro is panic message. We can have interpolation in the third parameter. Let us see it in few minutes. Here, if I change the first parameter value of asset eq macro as 2,3 means the LHS and RHS are not equal. So it panics and let me give a panic message also and run it. As expected, it shows panic message. Let us see the documentation of asset macro. See, there is two, asset eq and asset ne. We will go with asset eq. See the example. It shows both form. This is to be noted here. If the first asset eq is panicked means the second won't run.
see this the second is not run and I command the first asset macro after that it shows panic message and we also can destruct the array like this See the result. Array is destructed. and we can iterate array and get each element and its index position by enumerate method ok let's go to the next next is bool boolean is true or false let us play with it Here boolval gets false as its result and it is inverted in asset macro. Here asset macro without eq or not equal is used. Here it gets only one parameter that is bool. And if we change the condition to make boolval as true and it is inverted so asset panics because it gets false boolean is used in conditional statements to check the state of condition and the next is char char represents single character and it can be unicode scalar value we can form a valid character from valid unicode let us see it in playground see here variable c is a character data type and it is 61 in hex value so it is lies between the first match arm and prints the character code Next F32, we have functions like floor, seal, round, trunk and many more.
Next F64. It is also have many functions and have many details. Next is Fn, the function pointer. We can store function and inline function in a variable called function pointer. The inline function is also called closure. Let us see the function pointer in action. Here function add1 is stored in function pointer ptr and it returns u size and the results are asserted. And next is i8. This is also have many implementation and i16, i32, i128 all are have many implementation we already seen them lot and the next is i size we know it is architecture size that is if 32 bit means 32 bit target if it is 64 bit means 64 bit target that is architecture and it is also have many implementations like i8 i16 i32 and the next is pointer it is a raw unsafe pointer it directly points the memory address this is not used in common Let us try this in playground. Here myNum ptr is pointing to the address of variable myNum and it is printing the memory location. We can get the boxed variables address also. We will learn about box in future sessions. And the next is a reference that is borrow of some owned value. Let us see the example. Here we created a variable 5 and other 5 with value 5 and created a reference for the two variables respectively 5 ref and other 5 ref. And also we create another reference for variable 5 and name it as same 5 ref. So here 5 ref and same 5 ref points the variable 5's address. The line 12 and 13 checks the value is equal. All are equal. So no errors. Line 15 we check the address are equal. Here address are equal, so no errors. And in line 16, 
we inverted ptr colon colon eq function so it checks for the two address are not equal they are not equal so it gets false and the false inverted to true so no errors Now in line 15 we check the two address are equal and give the panic message if they are not equal and run it. Here the two references are not equal so it panics. Next is slice. Slice means some continuous portion from the collection. Here we get the integer slice. Here we get the str slice. And the next is str. It's a string literals. All string literals are string slices. str type is also called as string slice. This is the most primitive string type.
we can also refer string literal as reference of static str here hello world with string slice and reference of static str both are equal and the next is tuple we already learned this see a function can return a tuple and it can be accessed using its position and also it can be destructed and next is like uh, u8 u16 up to u size all are unsigned integers and have many implementations related to numbers and the special type is unit type if a function is written nothing means we can specify it as unit type here function long and for short returns nothing and in function long we explicitly specify the return type as unit type u size is unsigned integer type and i size is signed integer type Thank you.